So I'm flying out in a bit to meet some other musician friends because music together is better. One problem though, is I wanna take my OP-1 and my Steam Deck, but they both don't fit in my bag. It's pure science. So far, the OP-1 has been really great, but I can't really game on it. And this thing, it's all about gaming, but let's see how it works out for music creation as well. So let's go over three Steam Deck music production options that I've found so far. Will it be an OP-1 killer or just a bag filler? Bitwig with touch, a bit much or comes in clutch? Bitwig is a door that can run in tablet mode and then can enable touch. You can run it in Linux desktop mode. It's got some great built-in instruments as well. You can download them as a bundle or individually if you're running out of space. And the instruments can do this. <laughs> <laughs> you can also play it like this, this, or this. It's got this long press touch dial thing, which is pretty cool for like swipe gestures when editing. But for this screen, it's pretty small. I'd love to scale up the touch dial and I'd love to scale up the instruments as well. I want this playing part here to fill up this whole space, like get rid of this. I think it's possible. I've seen pictures, but I can't, <laughs> can't figure it out. Also, Bitwig, is over 300 bucks and it doesn't make use of the all the controller buttons so it's kind of unwieldy on a plane i think if i already use bitwig on my main machine i'd consider investing into learning it with touch but right now i'm just using the 30-day demo mode for messing around and it's kind of enough for me so bit much or comes in clutch i'd say it's a bit much it's obviously a fully kitted out very powerful door but for just doodling around on a plane it's a bit much next up caustic three a golden key or stinks like pee. This door was made for mobile and touch in mind. It does, however, also run on Linux. It's a complicated setup though, and I'm not the most techie person around, but I did change the TV to Spanish once, and all I can say about that is, ayúdame, no sé cómo cambiarlo. So instead, I'm dual booting to Windows from an SD card and running it from there. There's a Windows tutorial for all that in the description. It's a pretty great experience. It's a bit of a learning curve. How do I quantize things? How do I change loop lengths? Can I get a four beat count in before I start recording? But there's a manual built in and there's online videos to get you up to speed as well. It's got a nice big touch interface for my fat fingies and you can change the size of the keyboard. Initially, I wasn't impressed because of the delay when touching the keyboard, but eventually I found the button to change the latency and now everything's super cool. The instruments in here are also pretty nice. A lot of customization, a good amount of presets and check this out, modular synthesis in there too. And it's got a vocoder. I don't know how I'd use a vocoder on a plane, but I'm still digging it. I'm still on the learning curve and I find it just a little bit finicky, but I can see myself messing around with it. So golden key or stinks like pee. I'm going to say golden key, a bit of a tighter streamlined option than Bitwig for just having fun and just messing around, but also has potential for deeper music creation. Oh, and it's free. Next up, the Dirty Wave M8. Hate or great? I was actually looking at getting an M8 around the same time as the Steam Deck. It's tiny, it's sexy. It kind of looks like a detonator you'd strap to a bomb. bomb has been planted. I went for the Steam Deck obviously because I heard there was a version of the M8 you could run on a Teensy hooked up to a computer for free. And look at that. I seem to have a computer in my very hands. It's a bit of a process to get it up and running, but I can use it with the buttons, all the controls, so I'm not stuck in the touch only world. But once you get it sorted out, bruh, it's kind of incredible. I've always had a soft spot for games that look like this or this. So I'm not afraid of this interface. It kind of feels like a hacker in a fun way. People look over your shoulder thinking like, what the heck is that guy doing? And that's when you can turn around and say, I'm making a bomb ass track it's gonna be fire it's called terrorism <laughs> it's got quite a bit higher of a learning curve than the other two options but it took a while for my steam deck to arrive so i've already been messing around with it and really enjoying just nerding out it's got some pretty serious synthesis capabilities and it's got a sampler built in too i'm not super good at it yet but damn, I can easily disappear into this thing for hours. And that's what I want to do on a plane. Forget that I'm a sardine flying through the sky. The music you hear in the background is by one of my friends, Handsome Hansel of Space Food Music. It's all built 
on the M8. He told me he wish he could produce on the M8 all day, every day. And this guy has got a bunch of other kit as well. So it's a pretty high price. Also, just in case you're looking, he runs group Ableton Live courses. So check out the link in the description below if you wanna see that. The only problem I have so far with the M8 is that this is my best cable solution. <laughs> I'm sure I can get something shorter, but I got a friend with a 3D printer and some soldering skills, so maybe in the future we'll be able to make a little print that just slots into the USB-C and just kind of like sits like this. Wouldn't that be sick? Just flush. That's the dream. <laughs> so M8, hate or great? I'm going great. In my mind, this is the way that I'm going to be spending my fly time. I'm going to leave the OP1 at home this time. Heck, if this works out for me, I might even sell this thing. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what actually happens on the plane as I travel to meet some of my new music buddies, like these guys right here in the Artist Challenge playlist. Check it out. It's just some musicians flexing their creativity in the weirdest possible ways. And if you want to be challenged as an artist, we got a lot more challenges to come. And together, we'll learn to harness the power of music.